Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a different kind of video. No, this is not clickbait, okay? Today I am going to be shaving my face. Yes, and there's a lot of good reasoning as to why I do it. I actually just started doing it last year. I was very, very scared, but it actually changed my life as far as makeup, okay? And how it looks on my skin. If you guys wanna see how I shave my face and why I think it's beneficial, then just keep on watching. To shave your face, you'll need a few things and it won't cost you a lot. So moving on, what I use to shave my face is one of these eyebrow razors that you can find at the Beauty Supply or CVS, literally from like, they're like 99 cents up to like $2, I believe. The good thing about this razor is that it's very delicate to the skin. It's not as aggressive as like a shaver you'd use on your leg. Do not ever, ever, ever shave your face with one of these razors unless you want to grow facial hair for real okay just because the blades on these razors are completely different you're basically just gonna need this eyebrow razor also a mirror let's just go ahead and get started Just make sure that you're doing this on clean skin. This is a brand new razor. It has not been used before. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from here to here. All right, so let's just start. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna do Oh shoot, do you guys see that? Oh god, it's falling off. This is all the hair that just came off my face. Yeah, you guys can clearly see the difference. And it's so much more smoother, it feels so good. Continue to shave down. You guys can see right here, all the dead skin and peach fuzz coming off of our face. Oh my god, do you guys see this? Do y'all see this? This is what I mean. Like, your makeup is sitting on top of this if you're a makeup lover. Another thing, a lot of estheticians actually do face shaving during certain facials. Another cool fact, um, if you guys didn't know, is that estheticians actually shave your face during a facial. Well, in some facials, they can shave your face for exfoliation reasons. So yeah, if anything, it's not with the same razor, it's obviously with a better razor, but it does help to make your skin very smooth. I've also done this on my guy friends, you guys, because as you know, guys have more like textured, rough skin. So at first when I like asked if I could try this on them, they were like, what? Like, what are you gonna do to my face? I promise you guys, when I was done shaving their face and then I put a moisturizer on, their skin was so smooth and they were like, mind blown. Okay, so for the chin, I'm just going to scrape downward. And then also for the mustache, I'm going to shave downwards. So pull down like that. And just scrap. I don't know if you guys can see like this super tiny red dot, but I already kind of cut my face on accident. So that's what I mean, just be extremely careful. Oh, you guys, and already if you put your finger to your face, 
Just do one side and feel the difference. Like your skin just feels so much more smooth. I just have a rag. I'm just gonna wipe off those excess hairs if it starts to build up too much. So for the forehead, you can either, same thing, I'm gonna go across and then just down for right here. And be like I said, be careful around your baby hairs and your eyebrows, please. Please don't cut off your edges. All right. And for the eyebrow, I would say just stop maybe like one centimeter, half a centimeter above the eyebrow just to keep you from accidentally shaving it off. Don't go too close unless you wanna shape your brows. But if you know how to shape your brows, go ahead and do it. If you don't, leave this area alone and leave it to your wax lady. We're pretty much done with this side of the face. I'm also gonna go a little under the chin because I do put makeup under here too. And there is peach fuzz here too as well. I'm just gonna go from here to here. Just scrape downwards like so, same thing. I'm just going with the hair, basically. And then I'm gonna do the middle of the eyebrow. So I'm just gonna scrape towards the start of it. But like I said, leave a little space that starts just right in front of your eyebrow so you can just keep yourself from accidentally shaving it off, okay? Don't go all the way close. All right, and then the nose is where you really want to make sure you pull it because you wanna get all the angles. So just scrape down so this will scrape all the dead skin off your nose and have it feeling super smooth and your makeup is just gonna lay on top like butter oh my god and already it's feeling so good oh my gosh guys look at all that can you guys see that fuzz? It's insane. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but I do this about once a month or try it one month and see how you like it till the next month. And if you have sensitive skin, I would say try a small portion like right here by the jaw just to see how your skin reacts. I don't have sensitive skin, so if anything, it's gonna feel a little tender. But if you do, be very careful. Maybe you can add some oil on the skin. All right guys, so this is the right side of my face, all shades, and this is the other side. I'm sure you can't really see a difference, but you will definitely be able to feel a difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side for you.
All right, so I just finished shaving my whole face and I do have a little bit of bleeding just from areas that I accidentally cut. If it's a new razor, it's most likely bound to happen. But you guys, my face right now, make sure your hands are clean, by the way, before you touch your face. But it feels so smooth. Oh my gosh, you guys, it feels amazing. So if you're following along right now, your face is gonna feel a bit tender. So when you're done, you just want to cleanse your face with a gentle cleanser, no exfoliators. Right now, I just have a rag, a wet rag, so I'm just going to pat my face and wipe away any excess peach fuzz and dried up blood. Oh my God, this feels so good. I feel like a woman, I feel brand new. Be very gentle, guys. And then after that, you can apply your moisturizers, serums, whatever. After doing this, it's gonna deeper penetrate into your skin and you're gonna receive more of the benefits out of your product because we exfoliated all the dead skin and peach fuzz that's beneficial for your skin as well. Look at all this hair that came off my face. Well, this is some of it. The rest fell on the ground. But guys, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is what is on my face, peach fuzz. All right, guys, so that's basically it. And that is how I shave my face. Once you're done, like I said, just apply your favorite moisturizer, a serum too. Your skin is gonna feel extremely freaking soft, I promise you. It may feel a little sensitive right now to the touch, um, but I promise it goes away by tomorrow or within a few hours. But yeah, like I said, disclaimer, I'm not telling you guys to shave your face by making this video. I'm simply showing you how I shave my face and how my makeup looks a lot more flawless when I do this. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to comment down below what you thought of this tutorial or if you try it comment down below and tell me how it went for you um, or if you're just watching this for fun then tell me what you thought so yeah also don't forget to follow my social media I'll have my Instagram right here you guys can see follow me on my page I respond to messages on there as well or any questions I do post little mini Instagram makeup tutorials on there as well but anyways you guys thank you so much again for watching this video and until next time I'll see you in the next video with my ratchet nails bye guys bye